Hello there. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the lesson plan section on the ESL Kids Stuff desktop app. Okay, let's get started. I've got the desktop app open here on my computer and we'll go straight into the lesson plan pack section. At first glance, it might look a bit confusing. We've got three tabs and different sections with different folders and age groups and all sorts of information. It's actually quite simple. I'm going to walk you through the different lesson plans and packs and we'll see the differences between them and how you can use them. So let's start with the tabs. And you can see we've got a tab for full syllabus lesson plans. And there are two tabs here that are for standalone lesson plans. So what's the difference between them and how can we use them? Let's have a look at this handy dandy poster I've put together to help explain everything. So this is about the, the lesson plan packs. And we're going to first of all start here on the full syllabus lesson plans. So as the name implies, the lessons within this full syllabus lesson plan pack follow a syllabus so that each lesson is taught in turn and they build upon the previous lessons. So you can see here, each lesson is part of the, of the course syllabus and built upon previous lessons. Now we've divided the lessons into four age groups, um, level one, level two, level three, level four. So the first age group will be for your three to five year olds and then all the way through up to nine to 12 year olds. And these lessons really are for teachers who need a full course for their students. They need to start a course from lesson one. Lesson two will build upon lesson one and will include review activities. Uh, we'll build upon the vocabulary and the language learnt. And then each lesson will continue to progress throughout the course uh, continuously building on what's previously been taught and adding new language uh, and activities and structures throughout. So let's see that within the app. Um, as soon as you go into the lesson plan pack section, you'll have the full syllabus lesson plans uh, tab open and you can see the different age groups here, level one, level two, level three, level four. Clicking on one will take you into the lesson plan packs. So for example, for level one, let's open this to full screen. And you can see each separate folder here is a lesson. We've got lesson one, the intro lesson there, two, three, four, and they progress through. At the moment, we've got 24 in this age group, but we'll keep adding more and more. Um, and you can see as it progresses, we're looking at different themes, introduction lesson, and we've got the colors and fruit. That goes one, two, three, and four, fruit and counting. And as you can see, they're building and progressing throughout the course. Okay, so let's compare the full syllabus lesson plans to the standalone lesson plans. The main difference is that the standalone lesson plans, each one covers one theme. And basically it's where you can go in and pick whatever theme you'd like to teach and slot that into your own syllabus. So as such, each lesson covers one theme only and does not relate to previous lessons. This is good for teachers who have their own syllabus and they don't need to follow through a structured course syllabus. They just need to pick out specific lesson plans which they can use in their next lesson. So for example, let's just hop into one of the standalone lesson plans folders. And you can see here are 21 different lesson plans. And say you wanted to teach a lesson plan about the weather. So you can just come in here, access the lesson plan folder and download and print off the materials you need for that lesson. And as you can see, we have two tabs for the standalone lesson plans. So that the ones, they are organized by theme or they're organized by lesson order. So let's talk about that. So when we first started putting together the lesson plans on ESL Kids Stuff, they were all organized by theme only. So you wanted to teach a lesson about adjectives and you'd go in, find the adjectives lesson and away you go. But we got quite a few members asking us what order we would recommend teaching the lessons in. 
even though we thought that having the theme-based system would allow teachers to pick out whatever they need, there were quite a lot of teachers who wanted some structure so they could follow through in uh, logical order. So because of that, we then included the lesson plans in order to be taught, um, which I'll show you now on the app. So you can see up in the top corner here, we've got the standalone lesson plans in lesson order. We've organized this first by age group, ages three to seven, then ages eight to 12. And then within each age group, we've put them in an order. Now, this is only really a suggested order. Um, many of these lessons can be taught in, different, in a different way, uh, depending on the needs of your students. I'll go back and show you the eight to 12 year olds there. But if you want to have some kind of structure, or you want to see which lesson follows on from another lesson, then this would be very useful. Okay, so let's have a look at these two lesson plan packs in more detail. Uh, we'll start first with the full syllabus lesson plan packs. I'll scroll down and we've got some details here. So first of all, within each lesson plan pack, there contains a PowerPoint lesson and a printable PDF lesson. I'll show you this in the app. Let's go on to level two, maybe lesson two, colors and fruit one. And you can see here, we've got the PowerPoint lesson and the PDF lesson. So you'll need to use one or the other, either the PowerPoint or the PDF lesson. The reason for this is if you've got uh, a projector with a screen or a large enough screen monitor in your classroom, then it, using the PowerPoint lesson plan will be a great resource. Uh, however, if you don't have that, which many teachers don't, then the PDF lesson plan will be a printable document which you can print off and you can use that and follow the steps through the lesson plan as you teach the lesson. Okay, so next, the lessons contain all the resource materials that you need within the folder. You'll have the flashcards, the worksheets, the songs, the readers, the class sheets, the homework sheets, everything you need to teach the lesson. So I'll show you that within the app. Let's go back one level and we'll try lesson three. And so you can see again, the PowerPoint lesson and the PDF lesson. And next you've got the folder with the lesson plan resources. Let's open those up. And you can see the resources here. So we've got the principles, which includes the flashcards, the worksheets there, and also the readers. You can print those out. Going back, the audio songs, so you can play these. Going back, the videos of the songs, which you can play. And finally, the video of that reader from that lesson. So one of the advantages of using the PowerPoint lesson slides is, as you can see here, the PowerPoint lesson slides include interactive activities, quizzes and multimedia. So all audio and video resources, that's the songs and readers, are embedded into the slides. So that means you don't need to download the different videos and audios. They'll be within the slideshow. I'll show you here. If I go through the lesson to find a song, here's one, the rainbow song. I'll open it up into presentation mode. And then click here to play. And then we also have the video, click here to play. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. So that gives you an idea. Uh, let's look at a reader. Let's exit out of there. 
find one later in the lesson. Here we go. And we'll press to go on presentation mode. And up pops the reader. So here we have the reader itself and you can just click to go page by page through the reader. And you can read that in class with your students. And then we also have the video here, which I'll play. ESL Kid Stuff, Classroom Readers. Level Starter. What color am I? I am an apple. What color am I? I am red. And you can exit out of there. OK, so let's go through the next point on our presentation poster. Go up a little bit. So all the lessons come with a warm up, a review and a wrap up section. So as you can see in the lesson we've already got opened, let's go up. Let's go to the very beginning of the lesson and presentation mode. This is how you can begin your lesson in the class. And then press space to move through. So we start off with the warm up and maintenance section. You can see all the different parts there. And then you can see there's a number one. That's the first slide of the warm up section. With the greetings, so we go through the second slide. In this case, it's giving out name tags to your students. Third slide is talking to the glove puppet for the glove puppet greetings. Fourth slide, we're going to sing the hello song. Again, we've got the audio and video there. Fifth slide, and it's name writing practice. Sixth slide, and we've got the homework check. Seventh slide, some fun exercise routines. This comes up and the students can all do these fun exercises. Then on to the eighth slide. Now we're getting onto the review section, still part of the warm up. And they're doing a color review activity. Ninth slide, again, reviewing colors, this time with a game kicking the balloon. And then 10th slide, doing the rainbow song, which in this case is, I think it's probably a review because it was probably sung last lesson. And that would be the end of the warm up section. Going to the end of the lesson, we have the wrap up. Again, an index. And the wrap-up section, first of all, giving out the homework. You can always, for all of the worksheets in the PowerPoint slides, you can click to open them up into a large, and click off again. And saying goodbye to the glove puppet, singing the goodbye song. And then saying goodbye and doing a quick check. And that's the end of the lesson. As you saw in the PowerPoint lesson, there was a review section within the warm up. And all of the lessons will come with reviews and the lessons will build upon the language learned in previous lessons and continue to build up throughout the course. The lessons will have alphabet, phonics, reading and writing mini lessons as well, which can be incorporated into the main lesson, which I'll circle there. So to illustrate this, let's have a look uh, at one of the lessons. We'll go into the pandas level three, um, and let's try lesson two. So in the classroom, I'll open up the PowerPoint file first, and here it is. And if I go through into the main body of the lesson, so here, new learning and practice, 
and you go through the different steps of the lesson, at some point in the middle, usually in the middle or near the end, you'll have read and write. This will prompt you to go into one of the mini lessons for alphabet, phonics, reading or writing uh, that you can incorporate into this lesson. And you can choose the mini lesson that you'd like to use depending on your student's level. So let's have a look at those mini lessons now. Okay, so we're back in the lesson plan section we just opened. And I'll go back here to the full syllabus lesson plans. And you can see after one, two, three, four levels, we have the mini lessons. So let's go into there. And we've got the alphabet and phonics, letter clusters and phonics, early reading, and reading short texts. And all of these also include writing practice. So if with a very young group or a group that are new to the alphabet, you might want to start with the alphabet and phonics, and then you'd progress through letter clusters, early reading, and then reading short texts is the highest level out of these four. Okay, next up, we can see that review lessons are included in the courses. Just to show you this, uh, let's go into level one. And you can see here, there's a review lesson here at lesson nine. So that reviews the previous eight lessons. There's one at lesson 14, which reviews the lessons from 10 to 13. And we've got one here, lesson 22. So that reviews lessons from 15 through to 21. And these will be the, similar to the actual lessons, but it'll be reviewing previous vocabulary, language, and also some of the the stories, the songs, and the activities that were done during the lesson, but there'll also be new things introduced within these lessons. Okay, and the final point for full syllabus lesson plans is that the themes that the lessons are based on are often taught over a number of lessons, and sometimes they're combined with other themes as well within the lesson. So going back to the level one lessons, you can see this, for example, lesson two, we've got colors, and also on lesson three and lesson four. So colors is taught over a course of four lessons, but also you can see it gets combined with fruit. So we've got colors and fruit, colors and fruit, because they naturally go together uh, within the lesson. Um, so this can be seen throughout all of the courses where we can match up different themes that actually work well together. Okay, so let's look at the standalone lesson plans. As we said before, this is good for teachers who have their own syllabus and just need to pick out specific lesson plans. So these lessons all contain a printable PDF lesson plan. As yet, we don't have any PowerPoint lessons for these, but that's something we are planning to do in the future. Also, the lessons contain all of the associated resource materials that you'll need for each lesson. So this includes flashcards, worksheets, songs, readers, craft sheets, homework sheets, and so on. So to illustrate this, let's go into a standalone lesson plan, themes, try classroom, and classroom stationary. Okay, so we've got the classroom stationary lesson plan PDF file here, and here's the resources. So we have the print materials, let's have a quick look, and up it pops. So we've got the flashcards here, worksheets, song sheets, extra materials. And then we've also got the audio songs. You can download and play these in class. So Hello Song, Goodbye Song and What's In Your Bad Song. The same, but for the videos, Hello Song, Goodbye Song, What's In Your Bag. And for the readers as well. So we have the PDF reader files, also available as PowerPoint and video. And there's a worksheet. Okay, now, Lesson plans give suggestions for warm up and wrap up sections. So it's a bit different to using the full course syllabus materials, which have their own dedicated warm up and wrap up sections. Uh, but within the standalone lesson plans, these are provided as PDF files you can download and you can pick or choose from certain activities to incorporate into your lesson. Just to show you that, back in the lesson, um, let's come out of the resources and before we saw there's a lesson plan. So we've got the warm up lesson plan and the wrap up lesson plan. 
download the warm up. Okay. And you can see here, we've got some suggestions for the start of your lessons. So there'll be certain different suggestions that you can use here. So as I just mentioned, each lesson is standalone and therefore does not review or build upon language in other lesson plans. Simply because we don't know where you are in your own syllabus, so we won't know what needs to be included for review. And finally, each lesson plan covers a single theme. We've talked about that. The lesson can be taught over a number of lessons, usually one to four lessons, depending on the ability of the students. So this is something that we're quite often asked about. Uh, each lesson, standalone lesson plan is quite long. And if you're teaching a low level group, then you could quite easily stretch it out over a series of lessons, probably up to four lessons for each one. Uh, if you're teaching a group that are very quick and pick up what you're going through quickly, then it might just take one or two lessons to do. So it's something you can gauge depending on the level of your class. Okay, so that wraps up our overview of the lesson plan packs. I hope that's helpful. Um, there's a lot to cover and I'm sure you might have some questions. So if you do, please feel free to add your, any questions in the comments below. Okay, thank you.